Hello, this is Mrs. Arsenic. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on the developer cam in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Before you start, just make sure that your game is completely exited from Steam before you make any changes. So in order that we can use the dev cam, what we need to do is go into your documents. So double click on documents, then look for Euro Truck Simulator. And then what we need to do is go into the config file. Now, if you haven't already opened this, you will probably be asked which program to open it with. So if you right click on config, open with, and then if you select notepad with it. I've already opened it with notepad, so it's already there. So I just click on OK. So what you need to do now is we're looking for G underscore developer. So scroll down the list. G developer. Now mine's already on number one because obviously I'm already using the cam, but yours will look like that and it should say zero. So change that zero to a one. Then we're looking for G console. So it's just a little bit further down. So here you will see G console. Mine says one. Yours should say zero like that. So change it to one. And then finally, if you want to, you can change the fly speed. I would just leave it because you can actually manually change the fly speed. So you can just leave it on whatever it's on. So I want to save that. So file, save, and then close that down and launch the game. Now you've loaded the game up. All you need to do is click drive and load it up. So the first key you need to press is a zero on your keyboard. This will take you to the default view, which is underneath the truck. So I'm just using my mouse to look around. So then you move over to your numpad. And to move up is 9. So I've just pressed 9 there. So you can see around. See where I am. Right, so I can either go higher, pressing 9. 3 moves you lower, 8 moves you forward. Now if you move your mouse as you're moving forward, you can look up, look down, or you can just stay on the same level, just using your mouse. So then if you go back and press number 1, that takes you back into your cab view. So that's basically the cam. Let's have a look at the fly speed. Now you can use this only on single player to teleport. Now this requires you pressing the key which is called the tilde key, which is above the tab key on the keyboard and to the left of the number one. And it looks like this. So I'm going to press that. That brings up your console. You, you can move, you can change the speed here by doing G underscore fly speed. Now remember we had it set at 100 and you could see how fast I was going with 100. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to change it to 1000. Right, and then just hit enter. Then press the tilde key again to move off. Press zero to bring the camera back up. Now you can see how quick I move now, okay? That's pretty quick. So I'm gonna move forward. So I'll just I'll just I'll move it down a bit. Okay, so so this is on a thousand. So I'll just press forward for two seconds. Now if I do the same again, tilde G underscore fly speed, um, and I'll change it to 50, and press it again, and I'll just show you how quick I'm pressing for two seconds. Now you see how much slower that is. Well, it was more than two seconds, but you know what I mean. It's good for teleporting around. So we are actually not far from Oslo. 
See if we wanted to travel to Stavanger. What we could do is press, we'll change the fly speed to make it go quicker. G, fly speed. We'll change it back to a thousand. Enter, tilt again. Right, so we need to, to if you look on your mini map, we need to change to which way we need to be pointing so it's over that way. Right, so I'll let you see the ground. So we'll travel forward. So I'm watching the little blue arrow. I'm travelling forward and as soon as I see Stavanger coming up on my map. Where is it? it? Should be coming. I think it's down here, isn't it? Oh, there it is. We passed it. So then I'll bring the map in a bit closer. So I can see where I want to be. So. So. Let's see. We'll find a place to set it down. So we'll go to. The workshop. Shall we? Where's the workshop? Oh. I think I'm underground. I'm underground. Yep. I'm out of ground now. We'll put it in this car park. So, you've got to be careful when you drop your truck because you can cause damage. So make sure that you are pretty close to the ground when you drop your truck. And you can all, only teleport with your truck on single player. You cannot do this on multiplayer. So in order to drop your truck here, you press F9. And we are actually in... Stavanger. So if I press 1, you will see I have teleported with my truck to Stavanger. Okay, so another way of getting around um, Europe is to click on the console again. So you press your tilde button. And if you type in go to space and then wherever you want to go. So I'm in Aberdeen at the minute. I don't think you can see that from the map. Let's type Paris and press your tilde key again and you can see that I am in Paris. There's the Eiffel Tower just to prove it. So what we'll do is we can find the service station or wherever you want to be, a garage and then you just use your number pad to navigate again. And then just remember to get quite close to the ground before you hit F9 to drop your truck. And there you are. You are now in Paris.